Um, but for Galileo, observing these regularities and observing the, uh, the, the relationship between uh, these balls rolling down slopes, the time it took, mm. and giving a mathematical expression for that, for him, uh, as an unquestioningly religious man, they were, in fact, demonstrations of God's mind. Well, I don't think Galileo came to that conclusion. I'm not, if he did, I'm not aware of it. But the, if what you're suggesting is that uh, there is no necessary conflict between being a scientist and being religious, I, I suppose I have to agree. There, even now, there are very fine scientists who are deeply religious. I know a few. Mm -hmm. um, but the, I think what happened... And it only began to happen with Galileo and Newton, so it took a long time to mature. What happened was that much of the early uh, basis for religious belief was dissolved by science. And it wasn't that scientific discoveries made religion impossible. It, it's that they made irreligion possible. Mm. It became possible to understand how things worked without the religious explanation, and particularly... Uh, I think more important than anything any physicist did was what Darwin did.